What's up knights? Welcome back to another Dragon Quest God video. Today I'm going to teach you the difference between a treasure room and a treasure house. So what you're going to want to do, one, two, three, four, five. Stack those five across, at least three across this way, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. Now, you put the door in, get your light source, and it should become an empty room. There it is. Now, um, one turns it into a treasure room. Three, treasure chest turns it into a treasure house. Um, now what's good about these rooms is that you can make them as big as you want, place as many as you'd like, and you never have to worry. Um, I showed you a very basic version of it. Just now, um, you could use anything for the walls. The game doesn't really matter. Uh, there are, like if I come in here, this is my treasure room because I have one. If I place another one there, and then I place that there, and that there. Now I have a treasure house. And I could feel free to set as many as I want. And throughout the course of the game, in this chapter, not so much. You won't find a crazy amount of treasure boxes. But definitely in chapter 2 and 3, you will find an absurd amount of treasure boxes. And those treasure boxes can give tremendous XP when put in a treasure house. So if you're looking to level up quickly, just create a treasure house. Like I said, I built the treasure house completely by accident. I didn't even mean to do it, I just ended up doing it. So that's the difference between a treasure house and a treasure room, guys. Um, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. And next time, I will be teaching you guys how to make the watchtower. Hey, before I forget, um, I'm actually going to be live streaming today at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time for Outlast. Um, Halloween is Monday, so let's see if we can beat that game by tomorrow. Um, please be there. Remember to follow me on Twitter, at JJ Walkthrough. As always, I'll see you nights in the next episode. Boom.